When people are coming to Thailand, uh, one of the things they wonder about is what are they going to do for food? And certainly you can come and eat at uh, one of the street vendors uh, where they have uh, great food. they got eggs here. The eggs are probably about 10 baht. And they've got some curry there. They do some spring rolls and other stuff. Got lots of fresh fruit stands. That's for the street food. Usually for street food, it's going to cost you about... It's going to cost you about a dollar, a dollar and a half for, for, to eat. Uh, it'll fill you up quite good. We got a little vegetarian restaurant here. That's going to cost you uh, probably between 90 and 150. Uh, add a drink, you're probably going to be at around 180. Then you uh, go across the street here. You've got uh, basic uh, European food and pizzas and things of that nature. That's going to probably cost you. Uh, that's going to probably cost you about 200 to 250 baht, maybe 350 baht. Throw a beer in there. You know, you're talking about uh, you're talking about ten dollars. And then there's uh, quite a few uh, buffets that are in town as well. This one is the um, gosh, I know which hotel this is, and I can't remember it. The Apex Hotel, which is a, a pretty inexpensive hotel. Um, they got rooms starting at like 450 a night, I believe. Um, but they have a breakfast buffet at uh, 110, and then a dinner buffet at 180. Those are, of course, all you can eat. Those include drinks and um, you know non-alcoholic drinks and then if you want you know more than non-alcoholic if you want alcoholic drinks they're gonna cost you some more but as you can see there's lots of choices uh, that was just one small little block and there's all sorts of places that are like that here's another one right here a, uh, a seafood variety and that starts out at uh, 170 bucks so don't have to worry about starving to death when you're here again uh, 150 would be about uh, at today's current rate would be about one uh, would be about five dollars so this diana in uh, buffet breakfast uh, this is 110 baht let's see what they got on the menu today hmm ah the buffet is down here hello how are you <laughs> okay and this is uh, pretty Pretty standard what you find at these breakfast buffets. You got some fresh fruit, you got toast, you got a toaster, you got lots of bacon, ham, sausages. They call those sausages, those are hot dogs, but hey, you got some omelets, some potatoes. Usually they have stuff from the other, from the uh, dinner buffets if they have uh, dinner buffets. So as you can see, for uh, 110 baht, 
There's some cereal for you, some eggs. Looks like they'll whip up an omelet for you if you ask. So again, for 110 baht, uh, you know you can eat pretty good. For more information, go to our website, www.adultasiadating.com. That's www.adultasiadating.com. And this dish, my friends, is part of a whole number of dishes that are grouped under the name um, Nam Prik, which means like uh, spicy water or uh, chili water. What it really refers to is a protein. Like here, this is, I'm going to use this bean as a pointer. <laughs> this is a type of mackerel that is cooked and then shredded off the bone. It's quite finely. In there you'll also see the components of this. There's the garlic there. This little red thing is chili. There'll be shallots in there. There's some lime leaf. And all this is eaten either with like a bean like this or this is a winged bean. So you just scoop that up and eat it. Yummy. Or at least little tiny Thai-sized cucumbers. Mmm, so cute. But this is a way that Thai people get a lean protein in their diet as well as Lots of vegetables like this. This is really good. Whenever I see this for sale, I buy it. Whenever I get a chance, I make it. You can make this with canned tuna or any type of fish like that. Very delicious and a way to get more greens in your diet because I am told by Dr. No, my humorless doctor, that I'm morbidly obese. Morbidly obese, which sounds like obese but more so. And so I, I pledge to you, I, Chef Tummy, I'm going to lose 50 pounds so I guess get down to pleasantly plump, and then I'll be Chef Yummy. I'll be Chef Yummy who makes things yummy, not just Chef Tummy who makes things yummy. But this is on the road because this is good for you, in the vegetables especially. Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that at me choose young. up the water for the coffee. She just makes coffee and tea. There's uh, Batman over there with a white scarf. And these two people here come every morning and they have for years. This is their coffee place. And they eat this pagato, these crullers. And there's her daughter over there. So she rents this space for some hundreds of dollars a month. She's been cooking on the street for 35 years. This is her profession. And she loves doing it because she gets to sing and interact with the people who come as her regular customers. I mean, it's the most fun she has. She really likes that. So I love to come and I've known her for a number of years and we always tend to break into song either. She knows a lot of, kind of traditional Thai folk songs that involve food as well as we just make up stuff on the spot because we're both ting tong which means a little bit cuckoo. la go cafe do I there's my song there. I'm 
Pui, Nam Sukun Mu Sang Chan, Wani Pom Yuti, Krong Tep, Sukum with Soy, Samgal, Yeah, Nishishan Mum Pamun, Kaga Fue, Kapamun, Nishishan, Pom Pung Chotinai, Chile, Chile, okay, Kakumi Yu, Takut Nam, Nam, Mani, Sukum with Soy Sam